to go home and come back a little later? Nah, I think I'll wait it out. So, how's the family? Fine. And yours? Fine. Uh, <laughs> I think that's your ball coming now. Oh, so it is. Excuse me? Sure. Thank <laughs> you. 
over to help with the spring house cleaning. I better get out of here. Good morning, Charlie. Oh, uh, yeah. hello, mommy in law. Well, now, first we'll beat the carpet, shall we? <coughs> then we'll wash the window. <coughs> then we'll mop the floor. <coughs> After that, we'll move the piano. <coughs> I'll hide in the closet. So, let's get started. Busy, busy, busy. Guess what, Bessie? Charlie has volunteered to help us. Oh, isn't that nice? Yes. Charlie, take the carpet out and beat it. Come on, Bessie. Let's take a coffee break. Big deal. I never seen a deal of help. Hey, Charlie. How long are you gonna kiss the little woman? Just a minute, Pete, while I beat this cotton picking. No, don't beat it, Charlie. I can wait. Might as well get some pleasure out of my work. Hmm, a smoke screen. That gives me an idea. The motor, Pete. I'm choking at that. <laughs> Let's go. And where did you think you were going? Well, uh, I, uh, <laughs> I thought. Back into the house, Charlie. No, oh, I never seen a make a gilded dog. Hmm, a scooter. I wonder. You certainly have a way with Charlie, Mother. Charlie needs a firm hand to guide him, Bessie. Granny, can I go out with me scooter? Why, yes, Junior. Have fun. Thank you, Granny. My, Junior looks more like his father every day. In fact... Sometimes I'm so smart it frightens me. <laughs> Now, little man, put your wheels away. Next, you will move the piano downstairs. I am going fishing. <laughs> 
I will not move the piano. Oh, yes, you will. I will not. Oh, this is crazy. I've got to use my head. Come on, Charlie. Open the door, Pete. I'm zooming in. Not so fast! Open the door, Pete! Oh, my gosh. Yeah, Chief. Everything's all quiet on this end. Over and out. Officer, what did I do? Man, you guys kill me. <laughs> what did I do, he says. No license plates. No headlights. Say, what make is this anyway? Hmm, a Steinway. One of them crazy foreign cars. Let's see your license. Oh, no. A fishing license. Say, what's going on here? Well, you see, officer, my mother-in-law, oh, boy, you got a mother-in-law? Charlie, you get off that piano and get on home. What do you mean, running away like that? You wait till I get my hands on you, you lazy, good-for-nothing so-and-so. Don't be ashamed of yourself, you big loafer. Quiet! Your mother-in-law? Go on home, you got troubles enough. As for you, hmm, dirty windshield, dust on the carpet. No water in the flower vase. <laughs> Tell me again what the cop said, Charlie. Whoops. <laughs> 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 It's time for a Woody Wood Take a Cartoon. Guess who? Now, 
wait on you. Reginald, it's time for your lunch, darling. Bring your new toy. Yippee! Lunch! <laughs> Oh, boy, a big, juicy ham. Yummy. Hey! Toys don't eat. <laughs> Chocolate cake? Give me that. No! <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, missed me. <laughs> I know something? I'm a watchdog. That there's my master, Colonel Blue Blood. And I'm guarding his estate whilst he's away at his private club. That there you hear ringing is a doorbell. Be right back here. 
Package for Colonel Blue Blood. Uh, sign here, please. To Colonel Blue Blood, from Admiral Sperry, Little America, Antarctica. Could be a giant-sized jumping bean. Well, how about that? A genuine ballpoint pen, Gwen. <laughs> you must be starved after that long trip. I'll fetch you a sardine. The marlin is missing, and that's the colonel's prized trophy. You hear? Gotta fetch that fish. I'll head him off in the drawing room. Uh-uh, little feller. This here is Colonel Blue Blood's prize trophy. kind of tricky. Brains. I got too much upstairs for him. And he's got too much downstairs for me. You notice that? I got two shades through the door. Now, let me see. These two go together. go together. You got to hand it to the little tyke. He just keeps trying. He did the same thing again. Give the little fella the slip this time. <laughs> the little penguin wants to take my picture. I'll fetch my pole. <laughs> this is getting monotonous. You're awful cute, but you gotta go. I'm sending you back to the South Pole. I guess I'm a champion watchdog. That there's a doorbell again. Be right back, here. Package for Smedley. To Smedley, that's me, from Chile. Now, he didn't have to go and do this. Smedley! I'm back, Smedley! Smedley! 
Where is that confounded dog? Smedley! Looks like it's going to be a long winter. See you on our next show. Bye now. <laughs> Don't go away. I'll be back soon with another cartoon. <laughs> See how he does it. 
Games, eh, matey? Now I'm gonna blow your blooming head off. When winter picks over the hilltops and the leaves begin to fall, our little feathered friends fly south. Yeah, that's where we boys go. South, where it's nice oh, and warm. Pelican, you're going the wrong way. Oh, where do little bunnies go? When I we say there, the you are going the wrong way. We fly to the south where the sun shines. Oh, dear. And the little boys snuggle in their warm nest. South? I must have taken a wrong time someplace. A fella could die out here, and no one would know the difference. I gotta find shelter, and food, and companionship, and... Hello? Civilization. What are you, wise guy?
this town ain't big enough for the two of us. So that kook boy's gotta go. Congratulations! You've just been elected sheriff of Dodge City. You leave immediately, so let's get started. I'll help you pack, you lucky boy. Mustn't forget anything. Toothbrush, soap, pajamas, shaving cream, ketchup, mustard, socks. Okay, Sheriff, you're all packed and ready to go. But don't forget this. Bon voyage. Bye now. Watch out for the wild buffaloes. Don't forget to ride. Don't forget to ride. Oh, that's smart. Yeah. There's only one thing on my mind, sweetie. You. Come on over, dream boy. I'll be waiting. Okay, I'll be right over. <laughs> Hello, cutie pie. 
Your gorgeous gal is waiting. Silly boy. Hi, baby. Tennis. Cheesecake. I'm waiting. Honey lamb. How about a twosome, honey? Baby. My story starts in Dishpan Alley. Being a little short of ready cash, I decided to train my old pal champ for a comeback in the ring. Round one, the bell. That's my boy. Now give it the old right. Champ Bull Boy will have it fixed in a jiffy. All right, lift it up. Fine, fine. Look out, Champ. Oh. 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 Wow, crazy. Man, like listen to that cat wail. Oh. 
Oh, man, cool. That's way out. I'd like to book him in my coffee house. We make a fortune. I explained to my newfound friend that I was Champ's exclusive agent. When do we start, sir? You swing tonight, ma'am. My card. Hmm. The hungry me. Where the beat love to meet. We shall forget the pugilistic comeback. I'll take Champ to the top in the theater. <coughs> Your foot and this hammer are going to make us famous. Ooh, 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 ooh. Huh? And so I accepted our first engagement at the Hungry Me. And now you cats represent that whaling sensation champ. Success, and soon his name went up in lights for his grand opening on Old Broadway. Now, he was a smashing success. Then came that fateful night at Carnegie Hall. Most embarrassing. Hold still, champ. Me, 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 me. Tell me, good man, how is your singing act coming? Terrible, madam, terrible. Maybe you should put more heart into it. All right, wise guy, back on stage. Listen, Doc, I quit showbiz. Get it? You and me is through. You has been. This calls for a bit of Hamlet. No, Champ, no. You can't leave me. Champ always was a sucker for this act. Hmm. Goodbye, old pal. I'll never bother you again. What do you mean? <gasps> no, Doc. Don't do it. I won't leave you, old buddy, old pal. <laughs> I didn't mean it, Doc. So I and my meal ticket started again at the Hungry Me. Like the one and only champ. Like this cat's better than the other one. Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed our show. Join us again on our next program for a half hour of fun with your old pal, Woody Woodpecker. 
see you on our next show. Bye now. <laughs>